It is slime lab time. We're going to do a little slime lab experiment. This is the machine that we need for the slime, making slime. It's called a sliminator. We put stuff in the top here, and then there's different various lids that we can put on top. And then uh, we turn it on. We're going to be doing today mutant slime, as you can see here. Okay, let's, so let's start. So we need a measuring cup. We, okay, we need half a cup of this cornstarch. See you. Let's pour it into here. Okay, so we've got half a cup here. We're going to pour it into the bowl. That's what it says. Okay, from there, what does the instructions say? Next, three to four tablespoons. Three to four. Okay, three to four tablespoons of water. So let's start with three. There's one. There's two. And there's three. We'll start with three and see what happens. It says three or four, but we need more water. Yeah, because it's not supposed to turn out like this. So that's number five. Maybe we put more than half a cup more. When they say slow, they really mean slow. Yeah. Fast, fast. Your fingers go in. Hold on. You're supposed to. Okay, let go. Take your fingers out. Okay, guys. If I try to put it into a ball, so like I can put it, I get a melt in my hand. Roll it into a ball. Look at that, Quentin. And then it melts. Okay, so we can pour it into something here and pour it just like that. Try to pour it fast. It pours. Look at that really weird consistency. Okay, so I know the sides to this. When the, so water molecules by themselves is like a ready liquid, and cornstarch molecules are like kind of solid. Um, and when they mix together, and you pick it up and roll in your hands, the cornstarch molecules runs over the water molecules. I'm pretty sure. And then if you just let it melt like that, the water molecules run over the cornstarch molecules. I think I'm not sure. But I am also pretty sure. Like Abby says, you can roll it into a ball in your hand. See, like, like see, see how it's a ball in my hand? I can make a ball. And then, I can keep moving it, right? But the minute I stop moving it, it all turns into blob. Blob. Slimy blob. We didn't need the uh, sliminator in this one. See, look at that. See? As long as I keep it moving. It? As long as I keep it moving in my hand, it will always remain solid. I squish it. Oh, and I squish it too hard. Oh, it just I want to squish it. Comes out of your hand. And the hard, the funny thing is when you tap it on the surface. Yeah, it's like really fast. It's like tapping like a rock, but if you do it slowly, it's really Liquid. easy. Liquid. Your finger will go right to the bottom of the bowl. You could probably pick up the whole bowl with this. Let me see. Put your fingers in. Yeah, see the whole bowl picks up. But if you do it slowly, it's just like water. It is really hard to clean off of the table. See, if I was to like lift my hand up hard now, fast, see, it's like glue. It lifts up the whole bowl. And then when you try to wipe your hands, when it looks wet, it doesn't wipe. It it's just, a, just looks like a glaze. Okay, so here's the one warning when you're finished playing with it at home to get rid of it. Do not pour this down the drain in your or any sinks at home or pour it in the toilet. You need to put this in the garbage because if you do that, it will certainly clog your plumbing. It's a little easy to clean up. Well, actually not. It's pretty hard to clean up. With a wet paper towel um, or a wet paper towel, you can clean up a, a paper. And that's how you make slime. Not simple.